What's up guys? We're back at the Brisbane 4x4 show. Now this is our home show. I've got the whole A team with us. Say good morning everybody. Morning. Now we're going to show you how Patriot Campers does it. This year at the Brisbane 4x4 we have PCOR Patriot Campers gear absolutely everywhere around the show. Come with me and the team. We're going to show you through our home show, the Brisbane 4x4. Uh, the 4x4 show were kind enough this year to let us have the Mega 6 on display from Patriot Games. Come with me, we'll have a quick whip around. You'll notice a big change for the Mega 6 uh, for this show. Mega 6 is wearing new boots. Eight uh, Pcor wheels, so the new satin bronze uh, Pcor wheels. Because of the portals, this one's actually running on the 200 series rim, so this is a positive 35, um, which like I said is for the 200 series. 1500 kilo load rated wheel, 17 by 9 inch. And I think the satin bronze goes, it's actually going really well with everything. It's, it's quite funny, when we, when we got the first bronze wheels, we thought, you know, they're, they're probably gonna work best with the darker cars. Every color combination that we've put these wheels with so far, they've just worked. So the Mega 6 is, is looking pretty good. I think a lot of people probably haven't seen the, the Pcor three quarter canopy. I'm gonna do another video on this. Uh, coming up down the track, we've got the new Pcor uh, set up on the back of this. So I've gotten rid of that. That dog box, we were carrying the kids' quad up there for season two of Patriot Games, and the kids actually just got an upgrade as well, so their, um, their buggy's not gonna fit anymore, so we're going with a full-size canopy. Coming down the back, uh, TH610 from Patriot Games. Two Polaris is on there, stays the boat up the top. I think this is the longest truck here at the Brisbane 4x4 show, um, but you know it's pretty cool to have it here and to see the commotion around it's still people and it's been it's been a while since we built this truck and still people just absolutely froth on it so it's it's good to see it here let's get inside welcome to the patriot campus booth so this year we've gone a little bit bigger than we've gone in previous years we have the main patriot campus lineup we've got the x1 soft top the hard top the x2 down the back we've got the big super ram from season two of patriot games which is now uh, made it into the product uh, lineup. The Ram Super Tour is now available from Patriot Campers. Toy hauler outside, like you've already seen. We're going to rally the team up real quick and then I'll get Tommy to give you a run through the booth. Hey guys, so we're at the Patriot Campers stand at the National 4x4 show and it's definitely one of the best shows of the year. X1H, I've set it up realistically to show you that quick overnight stop. You can still obviously get that change room area. But I really wanted to display something that was going to be really quick and easy for people. And I think it's doing the, doing the right job. I'm just going to turn the light on. So, um, you know, still accessible with your, with your storage bags under there from Patriot Supply. I feel like the way we've done it this year has been really good as well. So, butting the awnings up together, making people be able to look, look at each model really, really easily. All right, so if you come into here, I've got the X1 set up. Um, you know, it's still the family camp. It's still the one where you're going to have the kids' room. You know, you can fold it all up on top um, and that way you're not zipping rooms on. You can just fold it out and away you go. If you come in here, just come and check this out. So this is where, you know, we set it up with the bunk so that one, you know, people can really see the size and the space that this room has. Um, and it really gives them that feel that, you know, they can use this as a family. You know, a lot of people sort of say, oh, such a small trailer, it will be no good for my family. But, you know, once we sort of open it up, it's, it's amazing, so much space. Okay, but we do, we do section it off so we don't get a lot of the children jumping in and out of that section there. Um, and it's the same with the bed up here, you know. Um, it's, it's so roomy and so spacious. That's why we set them up with, with all the blankets on there so they can really get that element of camping, I suppose. Um, plenty of storage, you know, through, through here. Now the X1H and the X1, they're exactly the same trailer below. It's really only the tent that changes, okay? So the same classic sort of L-shaped kitchen. Um, we've got a 50 litre Waco fridge on here um, today. So, um, you know, that's housing all our refreshments for the show, waters and things like that. Um, you know, a lot of people sort of come to show, you know, they want to touch and feel how everything works and they really, you really get a feel of the quality. Um, you know, when you come here and you start, rub your fingers over everything. And, and that's, that's one of the biggest feedbacks that we get when we display our products. You know, how, how high end quality, um, you know, that we're really putting out in the market. Okay, so I'm with the X2 and as everybody sort of knows, it's one of my favourite trailers, you know. Um, love the, how the kitchen sort of sets up, how we've got, you know, everything really in one place. And, you know, on the Fraser Island video, I would have said, spoken about it before, you've got sink, somewhere for all your dry food storage, and these are all our snacks for the show. 
Um, and it all just sort of works, you know, the flow of the X2 is amazing and that's what I really love. But this is exciting because this is the first time of the show we've had the full integrated tent on the X2. So this is really good to really display that tent. A lot of people, you know, they see the X2 being too small for them. And, you know, you jump up in here, I might need a light for you, but it is so big, there's so much space and it's perfect, you know, you can run two bunks either side or you can run a bunk here and a bunk here. You know, so it really is going to be that family camper as well. And, and that's why I'm just so excited to have this trailer with this tent at the show, because I think it's going to really open everyone's eyes up. But the X2 isn't just a couple's trailer, it really is the family camper as well. So we've got the X1H here, and I'm going to throughout the day be doing demonstrations on opening and closing it. You know, and that's the best way to give people the, you know, the idea of, of how it's going to work with them when they're camping, when they pull up. Um, we've got a few trailers that are available in stock at the moment, so we've got that on display, but you can really see how small this actually is, okay, and everyone loves it, and the hard shell just makes life so much easier when you pack it up, and you know, it's, it's really a, a showstopper, this trailer. Over here though, the big showstopper is the Super Ramp, you know, we've, we've now put them fully into production, um, our first customer got his uh, first production one. Um, a couple of weeks ago, um, the white, the white Super Amp, um, and it really, you know, so refined now. The guys have got it down to a fine art. Three quarter canopy with a James Baroud. Um, I just don't think you can get a better setup. Drop down kitchen, full fridge, um, and what I like about the upright fridge is, is it's so easy for your day to day stuff. You know, your hams, your cheese, stuff to make sandwiches with, just to grab a milk, just to make some coffee. They're a really good companion to have, rather than that chest freezer where you've got to dig through stuff. It makes things really good when you're on the road. So again, with this truck, it's the ultimate tourer. I don't think you could go anywhere in Australia and not have a great time in comfort. Like this thing is so comfortable. They just go everywhere you're going to get, everywhere you want to. You get a lot of people talking about the bars. Um, so this one's the first one, so we have changed it slightly um, now, so we don't have sort of your hooks on the front, they obviously needed com compliancing. Um, you know, this truck here is, well, it's a beast, you know, and, and everyone just says, you just watch them as they walk up to the show and the whole drawer just drops, you know, and everyone gets the photo next to the bonnet as to how high it is. It's such a cool thing to have here and it really brings everyone to the stand. So that's a quick whip around the Patriot Camper stand and hopefully you sort of see some of the good products out there. But the gates are about to open, so I best go get my game face on. I hope you enjoyed that little walk around with Tommy. You see Tommy on camera. What is, what's he, he, he's, he's good. He's so good. <laughs> I love Michael it. enjoys being on camera too. So Michael's going to give you a run through the peak or stand. So we're going upstairs now. ARB and TJM are up here every year. Yeah. Yeah. And these are the two biggest stands at the 4x4 show. And it's good having those two brands side by side as well. Eh? Yeah. For the consumer, you get to compare all the products. And, and I think this is where, where the party sort of happens. Um, on the way through, we're going to stop in and see a really good mate of ours who's got some pretty cool stuff. So come with us and we'll show you upstairs at the Brisbane 4x4. On the way through to the TJM stand, you can't not take note of this thing behind me. And this is, I think this is the second car that, st that started the whole six-wheel drive thing. I think it, there's a bit of a trendsetter between those and the Mega 6. Me and Jace from J-Max, um, the whole concept for the six-wheel drive was, it was over a couple of beers at a show up in Cairns and we started talking about, you know what, I reckon we can do a six-wheel drive on a 79. This guy, the mad scientist, he went and put it all together, engineered the whole thing. Uh, we built the Mega 6. This is Jace's personal uh, truck. It's got a P-Core tray on the back, but cooler than that is the one he's got on the other side, eh? So come and, come and have a look at this thing. The boys from Airbag Man are up here as well. The good thing is, I suppose, at these shows, you get all of the people from the industry together. When you get this sort of team together and the Australian manufacturers together over a few beers, like it happened again last night, yep. ideas start flying around and that's where these big builds come from. But let's have a quick talk about this thing here. Um, so this is a 300 mil extended uh, J-Max truck. This is not a Super Tourer, but we work with J-Max and we supply him uh, the P-Core gear. This thing's got a four and a half ton GVM and a four and a half ton tow capacity. So that's the new one, isn't it? This yeah. is the new one. So this isn't a, isn't a bolting coil kit. They dock it off at the back. The whole uh, subframe, the whole chassis is manufactured, welded on, four and a half tons, four and a half tons. Something you definitely need to have a look at, yeah? 
Let's go inside TJM. Yeah. You are, you're really quiet, mate. Sorry? I feel like I'm talking to you. <laughs> yeah, because you're... I'm like, where do I get in? <laughs> you say names? No. I've heard you talking about them. Brand, them brand, brand new product. Like, I'm talking like one week old brand new product. So come and have a look at this, man. Bolt on neat. intercooler kit for the 79 series and the 200 series. Now, this comes out of a company um, that I've known for a long, 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 long time, but we've never involved them with a build. PWR. PWR are the world's best, the number one in the world manufacturer of radiators and intercoolers. And you know why they're the best in the world? They do nine out of the 10 Formula One tanks. So all the big Ferrari, Red Bull, they do the whole lot. They do all the WRC cars, every Indy car, and every NASCAR in the United States. Now I went up to their facility last week. We had an open night up there. And I have been to a lot of factories in my time. I've never been blown away like I was blown Pretty away. Cool. I was holding a, for come. a Formula One come. radiator that was worth, somebody said it was worth about 200 grand, one radiator. It was, the whole radiator is twisted, it's like a spiral. And there's 14 of these coolers that go into a Formula One car and they replace the whole system every single race. No kidding. But they've taken that technology now, they're putting it into the 79s, a complete bolt-on kit. You can see it's all uh, billet machined end tanks. So none of, that, none of that sort of custom fabricated sheet metal, all of this stuff is CNC machined. Bolt-on kit. I'm not sure about the what sort of power gains you get with it, um, but this is definitely something to look out for. Keep an eye out, PWR uh, intercoolers. Um, I think they're going to become very popular very, very quick just because of the level of quality that's involved. And the finish is amazing, hey? The finish is amazing. I still feel and like I'm fit. talking too much, eh? And you're not talking enough. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get in. All right, so I just had a little bit of a chat to Michael. The only way. The only way that we're going to get something out of Michael today is it's, if I leave We need him. to get rid of him. Yeah, put, I, put him I'm, over there. I'm this going. is my thing. Yeah. P calls right. mine. All right. <laughs> P calls with Michael. He's going to show you around the T-Jam stand. I'm going to leave you guys to it. And I'll catch up with you guys later on. So now we're rolling onto the TJM stand. This is where all the cool gear is. This is where we've got the P-Core. Uh, we've also got the black truck on here as well. So come and have a look. It's pretty cool. So we've actually got the brand new PCOR LC79 tray up here this weekend as well on the TJM stand. You can purchase these through your uh, TJM dealers as well. But I'll run you through a few little things, uh, a few key points, I suppose, to the, uh, the PCOR tray. One thing, they come standard with your drop-down sides. So you can remove those, leave those on, use it as a flatbed also. And you've also got the rear trundle drawer central locking, all the boxes are central locking as well. So um, it all goes into your factory wiring on the vehicle. Um, you've got a 70 litre water tank on board as well and uh, you've got options for rear winch cradles and your spare tyre mounts. But uh, keep, keep walking over here, come have a look. We've got Ricky here, so Ricky heads up our uh, PCOR department. He's uh, the main, the main, one of the main guys for the assembly and uh, putting all the products together. So um, it is good to have him here as well. But we've got the PCOR wheels uh, here on display as well. So we've got them in a couple of different sizes. Majority, more so to fit the uh, LC79 with the Neg 25 offset, so you've got the, uh, the better track width there, and uh, you've also got the 16s as well. A really cool thing about this weekend too, is that we've got the new versus the old. So we've got the Pecor tray, and we've got the original, the OG, the black truck, with the original Patriot campers, tray, and uh, canopy bodies on there as well. So it's a, um, I'm a bit of a fan of both of them, to be honest, but it, it is cool to be able to put them together and uh, see the, the evolution and, and where Patriot's going. It's really also cool to see this weekend uh, the PCOR gear getting around uh, on quite a lot of the other stands. You obviously would have seen the J-Max stand with the um, PCOR wheels. We've got the PCOR trays on there as well. We're up here on the TJM stand, but I uh, saw something on the way in. Come and have a look. We've got uh, a PCOR tray and wheels on an LC200 uh, around the corner that we just done for a friend of ours the other day. Now, this is probably one of my favourite LC200s that I've seen. The wrap and the colour contrast with the PCOR bronze wheels. And we've got the PCOR tray on the back of it. It just looks sexy. I don't know, I don't know how else to explain it. This is a really good looking car. And uh, we done this for the guys at Superfit a couple of weeks ago. So pushing it, pushing it close to the, uh, the time, but we got that done for them before the uh, Brisbane show. I'm digging it. This is, this is not really my sort of style, but I'll tell you what. I'd run this. That, this is cool, man. The racking system, everything. This, is, this is really cool. It's a bit, bit American Yankee pre-runner spec, isn't it? I think some of the engineering team from TJM have spent some time in the United States by the looks of it. I because, think they've been to SEMA too many times. Yeah, I think they've been to SEMA too many times. This is looking really cool. So now. this is a concept. You can't actually I don't, buy I, I don't know. just yet? I don't know, but this is, um, I think we need to find out because this is pretty innovative. I haven't seen 
This in America, this bed rack sort of style, this is everywhere, mate. Yeah. And in Australia, no one does. I don't know why nobody does it here in Australia, but this is practical. Yeah. You know? You, you still, still you still got the use of the back of your bed. And it doesn't like to take it off. There's only a couple of bolts to remove it. So even if you wanted to stick your dirt bikes and everything back in there. What what this. happened in that 10 minutes that he was doing that walk around? Did you have a Red Bull? No. Huh? I just now I can talk. Because you got wind. Ah, yeah. Michael's finally waking up. It's taken up. me a while to get rid of my headache. It's called a hangover. Yeah, no, this is cool. Um, Chaser gear, so extra cab um, Ranger. This is the Chaser series from TJM. And this is probably, I mean, for me, this is the most innovative thing that I've seen at the show so far, just because it's so different, you know? Um, a lot of sheet metal cues, a lot of laser cutting, uh, punching, dimple dyeing sort of stuff. It's that fabricated sort of look, eh? It's really breaking out of their little, the, yeah. the, the cult sort of thing of the bull bars, and they all sort of... I've been saying it for years, yeah. man. TJM's the one to watch. Mixing it up. Torque and exhaust, so that's that's a product that we use on majority of the Super Tura builds. Um, they're available for everything. We actually just worked really closely with Torque uh, a couple of weeks ago. We're developing a kit right now for the 1500 Ram uh, with Torque. That'll be available really, really soon. But like I was saying at the front, the new Chaser bar, if you've seen our Ranger video, Sarah's Ranger from uh, Arnhem Land, we ended up fitting one of these Chaser bars, the bed rack system, um, even the, the snorkels. Like, Keep an eye out with, with what TJM's doing. I didn't eh? actually notice that until you said yeah. that. So come and have a look at this. So this is all this is all concepts through TJM. Yep. So I don't know. Look at the back. I don't know when this these sorts of products are coming out, but they're doing some amazing stuff at the yeah. moment. Eh? Yeah. Good on them. All right, let's go back down to Patriot Campus. Let's go and have another. Do look. some work. Actual work. I don't know where Justin's gone, but I've lost him again. But anyway, come down and have a look at this. We've got the uh, Polaris six-seater here. I must admit, and I'm probably a little bit biased, but I think this is the most badass Polaris Ranger I've ever seen. It is, uh, we've got the little, little tw 29-inch mud terrains, we've got bead locks, we've got the uh, PCOR utility box on the back there, so it's got all the drop-down fridge slides, electrical setup, gun racks. I don't think you could top that. But uh, come over here, have a look. We've also got something else pretty special here this weekend as well. We literally have all the gear down here this weekend. Um, I don't think we've had a better display before, so uh, come and see us. Come and have a look at this, guys. So the gates, have, they've literally just opened, and it's just mayhem in here. Now, with the brand, obviously, the camper trailers, we hit one sort of demographic. The Super Tour is another. Now with Patriot Games, it's always crazy at the 4x4 shows, and it's awesome. A lot of kids come out, um, you know, husbands, wives coming out for whatever reason to come and see the Patriot team. But you can see here now, everyone's starting to work. Come down the back of the stand. So have a look down here behind me. We'll try and get in there. So all the Patriot Campers merch now. So Patriot Campers t-shirts, Patriot Games merch. But outside of that, we're doing a lot of uh, camping products that are specific to the Patriot Campers range. Our flat pack storage bags, the peak all wheels, uh, tire deflators and all the little bits and pieces that, that everybody seems to love. So that's it real quick, I better get some work done. I've got to help this team out, I'm not here just for the fun of it. Brisbane 4x4 show, if you get the opportunity, uh, come down one year, come and say good day. awesome day out.